We're going to talk about relative bearing. So what is relative bearing? Relative to the ship. So we have a clock. And in the lay world, we think about things relative to the face of a clock. So if we think about the vessel as being the bow being 12 o'clock, the stern being 6 o'clock, the starboard side being 3 o'clock, the port side being 9 o'clock, and the rest of the numbers fitting in accordingly, we would say that things are relative to their position on the ship. So, for example, if we had a buoy off our starboard quarter, we would say that that buoy bears roughly 4 o'clock relative. If we had a whale at roughly 10 o'clock, we would say it bears 10 o'clock relative. But we live in the maritime world, and in the maritime world, we don't use a clock, we use a compass. And so what we do is we transform our clock into a compass. So the bow of the boat would be bearing zero, zero relative. The stern would be 180 relative. Starboard side would be 90 degrees relative. Port side would be 270 and then we would fill in accordingly. 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 225 degrees, 315 degrees. So now that buoy would bear 135 degrees relative. That whale would bear somewhere between 270 and 315, we'll say 300 degrees relative. So the formula is pretty simple. It's the alphabet. Relative plus ship's heading equals true. Relative plus the ship's heading, and the ship's heading is always in true, gives us the true bearing to the object, whatever it might be. So let's take, for example, we're on a vessel, and we're, we're sailing in this direction. Based on the true compass rows, we're sailing at 0, 090 0 degrees true. That's our ship's heading. The relative bearing to the ship, that would, bow would be 00, 090, 270, 180, and we can fill in all the others on the compass rows accordingly. If we saw, for example, a buoy off our starboard quarter and we said, okay, that buoy bears 135 degrees relative, what's the true bearing to that buoy? We would take 135 degrees relative plus the ship's heading of 90 degrees and that would give us the true bearing to the light. Just add them together. 0, 5, 9 and 3 is 12, 225 degrees would be the true bearing to the light. If we went to the compass rows, when we looked at the compass rows, there's 90, 0, 0, 270, and we're going to look out here, and 225 degrees would be our true bearing to that light. 135 degrees relative, but 225 degrees true. So if we were looking on the chart, we needed to find that out. We would go 225 degrees on the compass rows on the chart, and we would be able to find that buoy, or a lighthouse, or a steeple, or whatever it is that we're looking for. We can do it in the other direction. If we know that the true bearing to the light was 225 degrees, our ship's heading is 90 degrees, we can figure out the relative bearing. All we do is we flip the formula. R plus S equals T is the formula. We flip it over and go, make it go backwards. T minus S equals R. 225 minus 90 would give us 135 degrees relative bearing. So we could look off the 
ship and we could tell our, our crew member, I want you to look for that light and it bears 135 relative. Relative to the vessel, 135 degrees, we would look out the window and we would be able to find where that light is or whatever object is that we're looking for. Relative bearing, relatively simple. Simple formula, R plus S equals T. We need to remember that the ship's heading must be in true. And if we already know what the true bearing is to the light, we've picked it off the chart, we can figure it out relatively by flipping the formula. True minus the ship's heading equals the relative bearing. That's how it works.